Hi there, Jake from Drone Tech. Today we're going to be going through a simple three-step process on how to update the firmware on the DJI Osmo. So before you jump into a firmware update, uh, make sure that you actually need to update the firmware in your Osmo. So um, to figure this out, you're going to click the gear in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Then you're going to select General and scroll all the way to the bottom and click About. You'll see the current firmware version listed in this screen. You're going to want to check this against the DJI website to see if you need an update. So in step one, we're going to download the firmware. And to do this, you're going to visit DJI.com, hover over Products, and then select Osmo. Then you're going to go to the Downloads page. Next, click and download the firmware. Now it's good practice to store the firmware locally so that you can reference it again later. So we drag it to the hard drive, double click on it, and extract the bin file. Now that the file's downloaded, we're gonna copy the file to the micro SD card. So first, you're gonna to wanna to take the micro SD card and insert it into your computer. Now you can do this with a USB device or directly through the Osmo. Next, you're going to want to take that extracted bin file and drag it to the root directory of the micro SD card. Now, um, this would put the file right next to the DCIM folder as uh, we're showing you here on the left. Then eject and remove the micro SD card. The third and final step is to insert that SD card back into the Osmo. Then you're going to want to lock the gimbal into place. Now turn the Osmo on by flipping the switch. The firmware update will automatically start. Uh, on the left, you'll see a green and red flashing light. Now, um, this is gonna do all sorts of wacky combinations. It might make some beeping noises, and it'll do this until that light on the left turns solid green or solid red. Uh, green means that the firmware update was successful, and red means there was a failure. Let's let this firmware update run and see how long it takes to complete. All right, so uh, seven minutes and 14 seconds, that's quite a bit faster than DJI said this would take. And now power off the Osmo. So now that the firmware update was completed, let's confirm that it actually worked and uh, remove the bin files from the card. So first you're going to want to remove the micro SD card from the Osmo and insert it back into your computer. And uh, you'll see that a text file was generated right next to the bin file outlining whether the firmware update was a success or a failure. Once a successful firmware update happens, uh, you can remove the bin and the text file directly from the micro SD card. Now let's look inside the DJI Go app for the change. Click on the gear, go to General, scroll to the bottom, and click About. If you're doing this firmware update for the very first time, you'll notice that the firmware version number um, didn't really change much, but there is a plus sign at the end. Uh, and we've confirmed that this is in fact accurate and updated. Now here are a few tips to make this process go smoothly. Number one, charge your battery completely. Uh, you do not want to start this process with a depleted battery, so charge it to 100% before you start. Number two, give yourself plenty of time to do it. 20 to 30 minutes will be enough, uh, but make sure you don't rush the process. Tip number three is store your old firmware versions. It doesn't take up much space, and that added security will allow you to reference them later if you need them. And unless stated otherwise by DJI, don't skip firmware updates. This means that if there are a few firmware updates that have not been installed on your Osmo, you're going to want to install them in the order that they were released. This will ensure proper functionality of your Osmo. As always, update firmware at your own risk. Um, if you have any questions, please let us know. You can leave them in the conversation thread below. We'll make sure to answer them. 
And uh, if you found this video useful, please like it, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe.